The Fokker G1 was a Dutch twin-engined heavy fighter plane, designed and built by the Fokker Aircraft Company in the late 1930s. It was regarded as a relatively advanced design for its time, thanks to its innovative features and high-performance characteristics. The G1 was a twin-engine, twin-tail aircraft, sporting a unique and aggressive design. The aircraft boasted a twin-boom layout, much like the P-38 Lightning. It also had a distinctive gondola-like cockpit that housed a crew of two or three, including the pilot, radio operator, and gunner. The armament was formidable for its time. Equipped with eight forward-facing machine guns, and a turret-mounted gun for rear defense, it had a firepower that could give any contemporary fighter a run for its money. First flown on March 16, 1937, the G-1 was initially intended as a private venture by Fokker aiming to design a versatile and robust multi-role aircraft. The Fokker G-1 saw limited service during World War II, predominantly during the Battle of the Netherlands in May 1940. Despite their small numbers, the G-1s performed remarkably well, proving their mettle in combat. Unfortunately, the production of the Fokker G-1 was cut short when Germany invaded the Netherlands, limiting the aircraft's service life and operational impact. The G-1 had an impressive top speed of about 475 km per hour, or nearly 300 miles per hour, which was quite fast for aircraft during that period. Its maximum range was around 1,400 kilometers, about 870 miles, giving it a pretty decent operational reach. The Fokker G-1 was not just a fighter aircraft. It was initially intended to perform multiple roles including that of a long-range escort, dive bomber, and even ground attack. After the Netherlands fell to German forces, some captured Fokker G-1s were used by the Luftwaffe for training and coastal defense roles. Despite its impressive design, a mere 62 Fokker G-1s were ever produced. The legacy of the Fokker G-1, though brief, is one of innovation and performance under pressure. It serves as a testament to the Dutch aviation industry's resilience and creativity during a period of great uncertainty and conflict.